Welcome to the series of tapes designed to acquaint you with the various majors at Millersville University. I'm Dr. Ralph Anton, and your host for the series. And with me today, I have Phil Casey. Nice. I'll take you the time, and we're going to go international on you, right? That's that's what I'm told. You're an international relations major. International studies, studies is the official title. Was, yeah, and so uh, you are in your junior year, right? That's correct. You also have another major, right? Right. Uh, I'm a governmental studies major. Uh, that's what I've done the last two years at Millersville. Okay. Uh, I'm two. Uh, I'm six credits away from finishing that specific degree. Okay. So let's get a little. Per Where are you from? Uh, I was born in Long Island, New York. Uh, I moved to North Jersey, Flanders, New Jersey. Then I moved to uh, Endicott, New York. Then I moved to South Jersey, and then I moved to Quakertown, Pennsylvania. And uh, now I live in Perkasie, Pennsylvania. I've moved around a lot. Okay. So you get Pennsylvania tuition rates, right? Right. I was going to say, if you're from New York, New Jersey, you'd be paying some big bucks. It's true. Okay. Out of state tuition. So. I understand there's a lot of credits in the international studies major and a foreign language, right? That's right. You have to have a foreign language as a minor. And that's 18 credits? 18 credits. What's your foreign language? I haven't actually decided yet. Uh, Millersville offers German, French, Spanish, but they also have an agreement with FNM University where you can take Arabic, uh, Russian, Mandarin, uh, which is what I'm currently looking in into Mandarin. personally. Yeah. You're going to take 18 credits of Mandarin? Uh, if I can, I'll try, yeah. Okay. So they don't mix. It has to be the same foreign language? Yes. Okay. A lot of credits also in uh, international studies. It's true. You have to take 39 uh, credits in international studies. Now, the government overlap a little bit with that? It does. Uh, there's a specific part for international studies electives, and uh, there's four blocks you can take. You have to take two of them, which include comparative societies, uh, economic uh, interdependence, uh, global environmental issues, and uh, international relations, okay. which the international relations has a lot of overlap with the government okay. uh, studies. Well, what made you go to international relations? Um, well, a, a few things. Uh, when I was uh, a sophomore here, uh, I had a, like an intern professor named Dr. Warman. Okay. And uh, he... Um, it was like it was a intro to comparative uh, political systems course, okay. and um, he, uh, he he taught a lot about you know other countries and how American foreign policy intertwined with them. And it made me very interested. Uh, I had been very interested for since I came to university, and um, uh, I decided to look into it, thinking about maybe going to the State Department or something when I graduate. Okay. You're going to go overseas? I, I know there's always the, glo the global experience, right? Right. Uh, the department really encourages uh, the students to travel abroad and study. Okay. Uh, there's a great South, uh, South Africa program uh, sponsored by Dr. Bookmiller coming up. Okay. Uh, you think you might do that one? I'm thinking about it, yeah. Maybe go to Ireland this summer. I was going to say, your Irish heritage, right? Yeah. Never been to Ireland, though. Never been to Ireland. My, Lovely country. My grandparents are from Ireland, though. Okay. So you can pick what country to go to, or uh, well, I mean, there's there's specific programs that the university sponsors to other countries. I, I think there's one for Australia and the United Kingdom and Japan and, and France. Uh, but then you can also look through other universities to try to travel to other countries that may not uh, be offered here at the university. Okay, so you got all these credits. I think it's over 50 credits you have to take in, in, in the international program, right? Is it? Uh, yeah. Yeah, and then you got to have the foreign language. Well, it's 39 credits for the international studies. Okay, degree. 39, and then the foreign language is 18. 18. It's 57. I'm getting confused. Yeah, here. that's that's the that's the minor. Mm -hmm. Are you allowed to take uh, other courses too? Have you taken some other ones besides government? Oh yeah. Well, when I first when I first came here, uh, I knew I had wanted to have a second major, and it was a matter of which second major uh, to, to declare. For a while, I was thinking about economics, so I had dabbled into uh, economic economics. courses. Uh, I thought about history. Um, so I, I've taken a, a few history courses. English was another big one because okay. I'm a big Hemingway fan. Uh, but I ultimately decided on international studies. Okay. Because I think. What, what, what's the What's the future look like? Are you thinking of? Uh, a, you said the State Department, right? It's a it? possibility. Yeah. Are you thinking of going for an advanced degree before you do this, or are you just going to get the bachelor's? Uh, well, the immediate plan is for when I graduate, I'm looking to do Teach for America for two years, 
which is a uh, non-profit organization. Is that like the Peace Corps? Similar, yeah. Okay. Uh, it's, a, it's a similar type of program. Uh, and then after that, I'll look into a graduate program of some sort, whether that's in the government or international studies of some sort. So uh, you're not worried about the future? No, I, I think uh, hopefully by the time I'm actually entering the workforce, you know, the economy will be better, and hopefully I'm more than qualified for some kind of position. You are aware that the world is shrinking. Yes, absolutely. And the global stuff mm -hmm. is going to be in high demand. Uh, at least that's what my son works, and he travels all the time, and he said, make sure they get educated globally. So uh, you're, you're looking at that as a factor, right? Absolutely. Okay. Well, here's your chance, Phil. What advice would you give to any student who's thinking about international studies or global education or the whole ball of wax, government, anything? I would absolutely encourage uh, someone to look into international studies as a major, or at least a minor. Too many people look at the world very narrowly, as if the United States is the only country on the planet, or at the very least the most important country on the planet. But it's like you said, the world's shrinking. It's becoming much more global. I mean, a lot of people speak Mandarin and Arabic and Russian and Spanish and English. You not only broaden your horizon of other cultures, but you also, you know, you educate yourself okay. about the world around you. Okay. Because there's a certain wisdom in knowing about the world around you. Okay. You involved in anything at uh, the college besides your studies? Uh, no, I, I'm involved in WXQ, which is the campus radio station really? program. Yes. Yeah. What uh, made you do that? Uh, I have a, a deep passion for music. Well, is there anything you think we've missed? Anything you want to add? Have we covered all of the life of Phil Casey and the international studies? I think that pretty much covers it. Uh, I don't think we missed anything. You know what, Phil? You've made me a believer. I'm coming back. I'm going to study and take international studies. Did I say that right? Yeah. Okay, and you listen because the world is shrinking. And I want to thank Phil again for listening. And thank you for listening. Think about it. Might be a good major for you. Thank you for listening.